Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for this week's budget with me and my Clever Fox budget planner. I absolutely love this planner and I've been working through it for about six months now and I am just now starting to experiment with how to make the expense tracker pages cuter, make them work for me. So this week I start by adding up all of my income, which is at the top of the week two expense tracker page and then moving over to the goals page to jot that down i had 100 dollars left over from the first week added together it is 805 going into this week so now i will go in and start adding up my expenses i believe i start with dining out this week so i have a few yum yum donuts and the like i went to vons and got buffalo chicken because i'd been craving that for a while and more yum yum donuts nothing too crazy this week for once in my life i didn't go overboard i spent 28.49 on eating out that week now to the fun stuff i have a couple of lift charges and a car maintenance charge this month i went out in the morning and my tire was flat so I ended up having to lift to work and back that day. Luckily, it was really cheap in the morning for some reason. It was only $6, but in the afternoon, it was back to $15. And the tire actually ended up being really cheap compared to what I was expecting. It was $74 to get the tire and the uh, labor cost. It was all included, so that was really nice. And it was a place that was in within walking distance of... My apartment so it ended up being a super nice easy situation and it could have been a lot worse so i'm glad that that worked out i also put a 200 dollars payment towards my credit card this week so i go ahead and jot that down before moving on i accidentally did that payment out of the wrong account however so that was a big fail and it ended up costing me $30 just because I, I thought I had selected one account and I guess I accidentally selected the other one. Ah oh, well. For groceries this week, I ended up spending $185.84. Those numbers have been bumped up a bunch this month because it's the holidays, so there's lots of last minute groceries. Like my cousin ended up coming over to bake with me and... I hadn't been anticipating that. I also spent $50 on my internet and $57 on gifts for my family for the week. And that was pretty much it. It was a short and sweet week. My win for the week is that I had very minimal dining out and the loss, the fail, was that I paid from the wrong account and got that fee. Overall it's this month was bound to be stressful from the get-go because it's holidays and money has been very very tight since my move and i was trying to get a serving job before the holidays but then i the, my first choice wasn't hiring so i moved on to another place but i'm not going to bother applying until after the holidays are over because most restaurants aren't going to be hiring during the holiday season So I go through and subtract my expenses from my total income and I end up having $158 going in to the third week of the month and I'm feeling, feeling okay about the budget at this point. I think it's going to end up being a little tight but I'll make it through because I've got a couple small holiday bonuses I'm sure on the way and things like that that will help keep me afloat. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.